so our contribution has the title Unsupervised Training GANs for segmenting, segmenting Digital Pathology with Automatically Generated Annotations. So the problem in supervised learning in digital pathology is that we have a very high variability, as you know. We have very, uh, quite a lot of different application scenarios and annotation is time consuming. So that is why we consider an approach for unsupervised segmentation. We consider a study on kidney pathology specifically. So here we consider the glomeruli, which are roundish object, objects where we have about between 100 and 200 per slide. Annotation of these objects is quite time consuming and cumbersome. So our question is what can we do? How can we do better? How can we do it maybe in an unsupervised way? And our idea was, well, the objects are quite easy to model, at least the shape of the objects. So what we did is we used the same network as you already saw. So it's CycleGun. You already saw the image. Uh, we already showed that CycleGun can be applied quite well to translate between different stains. So we, pr we uh, presented a method to do stain translation last year at Mikai. And now we want to go one step further. So here we try to use the method, which is based on unpaired data, uh, to do a translation from a stain to a virtual label domain. So what we did was, well, we take one uh, data set containing histological images and one data set containing virtual labels. So we virtually generate a set of labels, a set of label images, and we try a translation. Well, we know this is not trivial, but we just tried first. So our first approach, the most easy approach, is just to take some binary masks, we took circles, and we generated such labels, as you see on the very left here. Then we also tried the same with elliptic shapes, which is also quite easy. And then we thought, okay, maybe uh, the cycle uh, uh, to train cycle gun, it's not so easy if we only have binary masks. I think a uh, speaker today already said, well, we have this one to many mapping problem. So we have the problem with a binary mask, but we want to create an image out of it. And for that purpose, we made it a bit easier for cycle gun and we introduced these. So as you can see here, we introduced nuclei as well in our uh, random, randomly generated masks. And to conclude, we found out that this approach can work quite well. So we found out that the shape model is not really important. It doesn't matter too much if we use, if we use cycles or if you use elliptic shapes. But we found out that it's extremely important to use additional information. So we found out if we use nuclei as well, we get much better results. And if you only use binary masks, we get quite bad results. Thanks. So...